The basics of this training is really, really simple. We come to know something about ourselves that is completely stable, regardless of what's going on in our experience. So regardless of who we are and what we have going on in our life, and regardless of our thoughts and emotions and sensations, or regardless, regardless of the so-called problems we seem to have in our life, we come to know that there is something about us that is totally problem-free and open and stable and relaxed and powerful and beneficial, always. It's always on and it's something we can always rely on. So this is this basic fundamental intelligence we call this open intelligence. Open intelligence, something we can come back to for short moments many times to recognize that it is actually present, regardless of what's going on. And just to introduce ourselves to open intelligence, we just stop thinking. So we just stop thinking for a moment, and then we do recognize that there is alertness there. There is something that remains when we stop thinking. There is something that is ready to know the next thought you have. It's your power to know, open intelligence, just always on, completely impossible to turn off or to change or to do anything with. It's just always going to be there and we're always going to be able to come back to that open intelligence, that stability, just by relying on short moments of open intelligence. It's completely simple. So I always thought that stability and living as as a stable person was something that was for <laughs> others and something that I had no idea how to do. But it's actually so simple and something that is just there innately for everyone. So it seems like a mystery and something that some people are lucky to have. Just a good life, a relaxed life, a powerful life, a life where they're able to contribute to who they are. And it's, it might seem like something that yeah, just some people are lucky to be born that way, but it's not for everyone. Yeah, that's not true. It's really obviously possible for everyone to live in that way. So just relying on short moments of open intelligence in our daily life when everything comes up. Because open intelligence is present when we're not thinking and, and when we are thinking. When we're having great thoughts and when we're having horrible thoughts when we feel great and when we feel horrible, when we feel like everything is going right and when we feel like nothing's going right and we feel just disappointed of our experience. And it always shifts, like each moment's different. So there's satisfaction, disappointment, boredom, happiness, anger, fear, and it all just keeps on coming and self-releasing in our, in our experience. So open intelligence and, and all of these thoughts and emotions, all of these data streams, we just call all thoughts and emotions and experience, experiences data streams in the training to keep it really simple. So all of these data streams, they, they self-release like a line drawn in water. We can't hold on to them if, even if we want to. And open intelligence and, and the data streams are completely inseparable. So this stability doesn't go anywhere regardless of the horrible thought we have. They're completely inseparable like the, the breeze in the air or the sky and the color blue. You can't take away one from the other. They're completely impossible to separate. <coughs> so sometimes when we Sometimes we feel really more stable when we have happy thoughts and when things seem to be going right. And when, when we're in a circumstance that we really like and with people that we really like and where everything is just a nice setting. And then when things change and things get stirred up, we might feel like, oh, my stability went away and my well-being went away. And we start to look at the data streams and the circumstances and the thoughts and emotions to see where it went and how can we change these data streams so that the well-being comes back again. 
But then the well-being is that power to know, the power to know just that is always there as the basics of, of knowing that you have all of these other data streams. So there's nothing ever to, to do to experience this stability and well-being. The more we do, the less, we, the less obvious it is. It's, it's so obvious, it's just, uh, it's just no, no mystery about stability or well-being anymore when we come to this training. It's just something we get introduced to and then we train it up. And then we keep on relying on, on the support of the, of the balance due training of the, the four mainstays. Which is like I share the short moments of open intelligence. Just coming back for a short moment whenever you remember naturally. A short moment of open intelligence. And then there's also uh, a trainer. The, the, the trainer is after you completed the 12 empowerments you can request a, a trainer. Someone you can write to to clarify and empower everything about your life. And someone who will always only support you in recognizing your own stability and ease in that situation. And, the, and then we have the third mainstay, the, the training media which is all the meetings like these, the trainings we have every Saturday, a one-day training, the four-day trainings, all of the other trainings, all of the talks and the videos on the website, all of the books, where you can just turn to any page and you just clarify everything that's going on in your experience. These books are not like any other books. They're extremely special in that way. Just find found that the first time I started to read one of the Balanced View books. Whatever was going on for me, I could just open to any page and I felt completely supported by what's, what was said in, on that page. You can test it out if you want to. So that's the, all of the training media. And then we have the community, which is everyone who is just loving to rely on, on the four mainstays and, and living that lifestyle. Just living, constantly exploring your inexhaustible power to be a benefit. And just seeing more and more power in, in ourselves. It's the, the community. And just by coming back to these four mainstays time and time again, we just, we just naturally, <coughs> without an, any effort, we just have a, a great life. <coughs> and for me, definitely, my, <coughs> my relationship with my trainers really just have been so, so incredibly su surprised how wonderful, just how empowering a relationship can be. Just that there's nothing going on other than support with another person, that there's just totally incredible. Just it, it turns everything upside down about what a friend or a relationship or all of these things should look like. That usually it's where we just give all of our negative data and we find some kind of connection in that. Or that's how I used to relate to people. But this relationship is just, um, there's just, y you, you can share anything with this person. You can just be completely open and say exactly what's going on for you. Not hiding anything or holding anything back. And just everything that is given is always support and, and always empowerment. And just someone who, who opens up all of what's going on for you. So you can see it as beneficial potency rather than just seeing it as, as, as things you need to work on. So you can actually just let it be as it is, whatever is going on in your experience, and then you just use that energy in a powerful way to be a benefit to all. And the trainer can really see you and get to know you and know what's best for you and what kind of project you can be involved in. And, and service is just such a wonderful way to really 
open up and seeing for real. You can't, you, if you see your own power in your own experience, then you just know it's there. It's not a, it's not, it's, there's no mystery about it. There's no destination to get to. I'll take short moments and I'll rely on the training and then in the future maybe I can be of benefit. When you're in, involved in service, you see it happening, so you don't even, it's so obvious that you are ben beneficial. <coughs> and then everything comes up with the trainer, with all the social awkwardness and just like everything that would ever come up in any relationship will come up with the trainer and and there it's just like a safe space to let it be as it is and all of it is just like a deep wanting to connect to that person and to really see the importance of that relationship but whatever comes up is doesn't have to be described as anything and you can just keep on opening up to the trainer also not you can just share that you feel socially awkward and that it's just totally fine. <coughs> and then, of, of course, when we, do, when we do service together, we can also maybe think that it's going to be really, it's just going to, we're just going to have fun data, happy data, and it's going to be so much just going to be so relaxed and we're just not going to feel anything afflicting whatsoever. And then it might come as a surprise that everything is just as it always was with the data streams. That um, the afflictions and the, the irritation, the frustration, the comparison, everything, all the data streams can be exactly the same. It's just how we relate to the data streams, that's the difference. So we don't have to be disappointed in ourselves or in others if we do feel and see the exact same data streams coming up. We just, what we do is different though. We, we rely on the four mainstays. So we let the data streams be as they are. We don't describe them. And we take responsibility for our data streams. And then we can contact our trainer to be very specific about how we can be supported. And we join the trainings and then we just clarify everything. But there's nothing, <coughs> there's nothing wrong in any data stream, so we don't have to, to look too specifically in our mindset exactly what the data streams are that we have. They're just completely relaxed as open intelligence as they are.